What's up everybody, Joshua Yale here at Star Wars Celebration Chicago, where I just got out of the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge panel, which you know is the theme parks that'll be coming to California and Florida in Disney. And you probably have heard a lot about the rides. You can go on the Millennium Falcon, you can do an escape as part of the Resistance and everything. You'll meet some iconic Star Wars characters, but they revealed some new stuff at the panel. Top among them that Yoda will be a part of the park. And also, Coke products. Yes, that's right, I'm gonna show you this shirt where, yes, they've rebranded Coke to be uh, the Star Wars language of, of Aramesh. Yes, that's actually happening. They redesigned all of the Coke bottles to look like thermal detonators. I don't know why <laughs> we're drinking from explosive devices. I don't know what kind of liquid is in a thermal detonator. Probably some sort of gasoline. But apparently uh, the, our Earth equivalent is, is Coca-Cola. The bottles, as you can see, are uh, instantly recognizable of, is which product you're getting. But they definitely have that Star Wars vibe and feel. And the funny part was they, they like were really building up to this. They had spent the whole panel without any reveals and they're like, boy, do we have something for you. And they had some people come out in like Coca-Cola shirts and showed off the bottles. And they're like, guys, don't you love this? And we're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but then they gave us something really cool. Yeah, that Yoda is going to be a part of the park. The timeline of this park, of when this park exists, uh, it's Black Spire Outpost, a new location on the planet Batu that they're weaving into Star Wars storytelling. It's the time of this new trilogy with the First Order and the Resistance. So Yoda's dead, but they implied that we'll hear his voice, right? And uh, so that, to me, says we'll see him as a Force ghost. And so it's really awesome that when you go there, you'll get to interact in some capacity with Yoda. And best of all, the cherry on top was that Frank Oz himself will be voicing Yoda and doing all these new lines for him, which is so cool. A couple other things they said was that you'll be able to customize your own lightsaber. I'm going to do a purple blade with a rose gold hilt because that's how I roll. A little bit of Mace Windu, but it's my own thing, okay? Also, they said you'll be able to taste blue and green milk, which do not mix with the Coke products. I'm sure that would not go well. It's kind of a vomit situation probably happened there. And then also they said there'll be new cantina music created for the cantina that you can visit there in the parks. They played two tracks for us. One is very much that original cantina theme. You know it without me even playing it for you. You know what it sounds like. Uh, but it's drawn out and some extra beats are added in there. It actually sounded really cool. But then one that kind of threw me for a loop was the... It, it can be best described as droid dubstep of yeah all these things and droid boops and beeps and stuff uh, and but the best part was like at the beat drop they had the R2 scream which was totally priceless so I'm gonna I, I don't know how that's gonna uh, fare with, with the park guests but we'll we'll have to see when we get to visit Galaxy's Edge when it opens later this year so for more from Star Wars Celebration keep it here on IGN.